Welcome to Capital OTB's Daily Report, brought to you by CapitalOTBBet.com. If you're not already a member of Capital OTB Bet, check out everything it has to offer by visiting CapitalOTB.com and signing up today. This is the Wednesday, April 7th edition of the Daily Report. As always, I'd like to start out with a trivia question, and let's do one that's kind of pertinent. And if you were paying attention over the past few days of racing, you should have a little bit of an idea here. Irod Ortiz, fresh off his record-breaking uh, championship meet down at Gulfstream Park, returns to New York. There's been three days of racing so far in the brand-new Aqueduct Spring meet. The trivia question for today in the first three days of racing so far at Aqueduct in the spring meet, how many of those races has Irod Ortiz won? I'll tell you, there have been 27 total races over the three days. How many has Irod Ortiz won? We'll have the answer at the end of the show. All right, again, this is the Wednesday, April 7th edition of the Daily Report. I'm Seth Merrill. Let's get to it. The field is at the top of the stretch in the Wood Memorial. Here's Rayburn. Here's Dynamic One on the outside. Brooklyn Strong is down at the rail. And Crowded Trade is coming on now as they come for the eighth pole. It is Dynamic One. Here's Crowded Trade on the outside. Rayburn continues to battle down at the rail. And it's a 16th of the finish. And here's Burbonic, who was last, making a late run out in the middle of the track. It is Dynamic One and Burbonic. Dynamic One and Burbonic. A photo finish. Burbonic got there under Kendrick Carmouche. Kendrick Carmouche thinks he got there, and it's a major upset in this 2021 Wood Memorial. Burbonic is 72 to 1. It seems like the Derby Trail over the past few years has, God, the word that comes to mind is uh, lack of consistency, inconsistent. Uh, there, there have been big performances and promising performances that are followed by uh, duds, for lack of a better word, and nothing kind of said it more than the Wood Memorial this year. Uh, you had horses coming in with some real promise. Prevalence uh, went off as the second favorite, no, third favorite, actually, um, at three to one, I was a little bit surprised that he was taking that kind of money for a while. Uh, late in the betting, he was favored, but eventually, risk taking uh, from Chad Brown and crowded trade from Chad Brown went off as the favorite and the second favorite at two to one and five to two. But prevalence winds up sixth, risk taking winds up seventh. Candyman Rocket follows up the dud in the the Tampa Bay Derby. With another dud running ninth, Wayburn uh, ran well, I suppose, to be fourth. But, you know, fourth doesn't uh, get the blood flowing necessarily. The winner, as you heard, Burbonic, 72-1, to one, running second, Dynamic 1. It, it was a play for the Todd Pletcher fans, certainly. And Pletcher uh, has been a guy who, over the years, has been a, a real player on the Derby Trail. And so if you you tuck that into your back pocket and thought, hey, I'll play a little Pletcher Pletcher, well, the Todd Todd exacto with Burbonic over Dynamic 1 for a buck, you got $453 back on that exacto. Burbonic plays, pays $146 and change. Crowded Trade winds up, winds up third, Weyburn fourth, Brooklyn Strong on the comeback. Boy, it was a tough spot for a comeback off a long layoff. He winds up fifth. So, again, kind of the, the horses with some promise uh, don't show up, and a couple surprises get it done. Similar out at Santa Anita in the uh, Santa Anita Derby, Rock Your World at 5-1 to one wins, and wins pretty comfortably over 4-5 to five favorite Medina Spirit. Rock Your World came in. Uh, to the uh, weekend with zero derby points and comes out with 100, moves up to uh, number six on the uh, Kentucky Derby leaderboard points-wise. Burbonic, same situation, no points coming in, 100 points coming out. He's number seven on the leaderboard. You would have to think they're both headed to Kentucky, solidly in the field with that those points. Flip side is there was a little bit of consistency on the day on Saturday. We found that in the bluegrass. Here comes Essential Quality now, taking aim once again at Highly Motivated, who still has the lead coming into the final furlong of the Toyota Bluegrass. Highly Motivated with the advantage. Essential Quality is still driving at him from the outside past the 16th pole. Highly Motivated, Essential Quality, what a finish! The champ 
remains unbeaten. Essential quality to win it for Luis Saez. Essential quality in a ding-dong battle down the stretch with another Chad Brown runner highly motivated, but the champ gets it done by a chart margin of a neck at 1-2. to two. And you would have to think, unless Concert Tour just does something phenomenal this weekend down in Arkansas, Essential Quality heads to the Derby as a pretty solid favorite. I'll tell you, I'm feeling pretty good, though, with the, kind of some of the wacky results we've seen. Uh, in a couple of the pools, I hit some all others in exacto wagers. I have Essential Quality in there, too. So Essential Quality and all others as a future pool exact. Uh, again, I'm, I'm kind of feeling pretty good. I think all others is going to have a number of horses going into the starting gate on uh, that first Saturday in May. But again, the weekend, uh, Wood Memorial, Bluegrass, Santa Anita Derby, a couple of... Uh, Again, demonstrating inconsistency kind of performances, and then uh, one that that kind of came through with essential quality. And that's, as I say, it seems like that's been the the way over the past few years on the Derby Trail. It seems like big performances just aren't validated in subsequent races, and there's maybe one or two that you can kind of rely on to to having a at least a little bit of consistency, as opposed to five or six or seven who kind of go in and you're. You're sitting back and really waiting for that showdown in the Kentucky Derby. This year it's essential quality, maybe concert tour, and then a f bunch of, of uh, runners that will be looking to kind of rebound to their better form. We'll see what happens coming up this weekend down at Oak Lawn in the Arkansas Derby. As I say, concert tour has a chance to, to step up and be right in that top of the heap conversation as well. Speaking of top of the heap, they had a virtual ceremony uh, this past Monday night talking about uh, the New York Bread year-end honors and the New York Bread Horse of the Year for 2020 was... And Tis the Law has the lead at the top of the stretch. It is Tis the Law in front with three sixteenths of the finish. Tis the Law has a four-length lead. He's left the others behind. It's Tis the Law. He won the Belmont Stakes. He's going to win the Run Happy Travers. And now it's on to Kentucky as the favorite in the Derby. Here he is, Saratoga's hometown hero, Tis the Law. Fabulous performance back in August in the Travers by Tis the Law. That followed up a win in the Belmont Stakes, a win in the Florida Derby, a win in the Holy Bowl. Those uh, three grade ones and a grade three were enough to catapult Tis the Law to the top of the class of the New York Reds in 2020. Tis the Law wound up this past Monday night being named the New York Bread Horse of the Year, as well as the New York Bread Three-Year-Old Champion. Some other notables among the New York Breads uh, Champion Two-Year-Old two -year Philly was Simply Ravishing, the Two-Year-Old Male, Brooklyn Strong. Mr. Buff was the champion, Older Dirt Male. Uh, again, there was some nice New York Breads out there and running well in open company during the year. Always fun to see that. Always fun to root for those types. And tis the law at the top of the class. Fun to root for them as well with the local ownership of Sacatoga Stables. So uh, congratulations to everybody involved with tis the law and all the other winners uh, of New York Bread 2020 honors that were given away again on Monday night. All right, the day ahead looks like this at Capital OTB, Capital OTB TV, Keeneland in our Wednesday mix. That's a lot of fun. Tampa Bay Parks, Saratoga Harness will kick off at about noontime. A little bit later on, some Turf Paradise. Later than that, Yonkers, Penn National, Charlestown, and Northfield. Plenty of good action ahead on a Wednesday afternoon slash evening. Make the most of all of it. And always want to remind you to the promos that are coming up at Capital OTB over the next few days. First of all, uh, I mentioned the first Saturday in May, Kentucky Derby Day. That's coming up. It's uh, sooner rather than later. So we got to start making your plans. Obviously, with the situation, the COVID situation, still living by those rules, that means there will be limited seating available at the Clubhouse Racebook if you'd like to stop by there and make that your spot to watch this year's Kentucky Derby. Get in touch and uh, make a reservation for your seats because, again, there will be limited seating available at the Clubhouse Racebook in Albany, 7-Eleven Central Avenue. Uh, coming up this week, Thursday afternoon, there's a $200 online pick-for bankroll. I'll have a couple of 
$100 to play on the early and late pick four at Keeneland. Go to CapitalOTB.com, put your name in the hat, see if you can be one of the 10 folks selected for the bankroll team. Last couple of pick fours we've done have uh, earned everybody a little bit of free cash. So, again, check out the website for more info, CapitalOTB.com. Friday, it's part of Masters Weekend with a pick and putt promotion. That's right. Put your name in the golden bin and you'll have a chance to putt for prizes on Friday at the Clubhouse Racebook, 711 Central Avenue in Albany. Friday, there's also a track bonus on Keeneland Wagers. Top 25 highest wagering account holders get some extra money put into their account. Friday, there's a $100 online win a bet contest. Check the website for more information. Saturday continues the pick and putt Masters Weekend promotion at the Clubhouse Racebook. Saturday is also a, a Keeneland Syndicate special. You can check uh, the website to see if there are still availabilities to join the Syndicate team. Saturday, a $100 online knockout challenge. Sunday brings a double promotion day at the Clubhouse Racebook. The Play the Board contest and a match bet promotion. That all happens Sunday at the Clubhouse Racebook. And as always, you can check out the website, capitalotb.com, for more information on promos and events coming up. Now let's answer today's trivia question. Our trivia question for Wednesday, April 7th, was... The Aqueduct Spring Meet kicked off this past Thursday. There were three days of racing, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No racing on Easter Sunday. But that Aqueduct Spring Meet, over the uh, first three days, there were 27 total races. How many of those did Irad Ortiz win? He was coming fresh off a record-breaking championship meet down at Gulfstream, returned to New York, rode Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How many winners did he have over those first three days? in 27 total races run at Aqueduct. Well, let's take a listen to give a little hint of the finale from Saturday. Here comes Michael's bad boy, now to take over the lead from Alight. Michael's bad boy in front, then Alight, Voliero, and Wicked Grinch, followed by War of Thrones. It is Michael's bad boy in front, and jockey Arad Ortiz Jr., has his sixth win today. Yes, Irod Ortiz capped off a six-win day in the final race on Saturday afternoon. He won six, he rode in 11 on Saturday. On Friday, he won four, he rode in five. On Thursday, he won two, he rode in six. There were 27 total races. Irod Ortiz rode in 22 of them. He won 12 of the first 27 races that were run over the first three days of the Aqueduct Spring Meet. I Rod Ortiz won 12 of them. He is on quite a run. There is no question about it. All right, we're going to wrap it up for this Wednesday, April 7th edition of the Capital OTB Daily Report, brought to you by CapitalOTBBet.com. I'm Seth Merrill. As always, thanks for tuning in. Spread the word. Tune back in again tomorrow. We'll see you then. In the meantime, good luck.